Well, Terry and I are much too sweaty to appear on camera, but I wanted to give you a little update. We just finished taking the forms off of our footings. And despite the fact that the beginning of our pour seemed like a catastrophe and a complete rookie <laughs> amateur scenario, it actually turned out pretty good, I think. Um, and the step footings, even though the rebar in one side was much nicer than the other, it turns out when it's all covered in concrete, uh, it doesn't matter. Some of our rebar's crooked and needs to be straightened, but we haven't done that yet. And this is our little, where's my finger? This is our little counter fort wall. It's going to be hidden within the interior as a support against the backfill pressure. Another footing. So overall, a success. It's a very exciting day because our ICF blocks have arrived. filming for the past few days, but check out what we did. We have a house. Take a tour inside. This will be the basement door. Excuse the mess, we're going to clean up tomorrow morning. So we've got four feet of wall on the back, and here's our step footings with an eight foot wall on that side. Those are the bottoms of our bedroom windows, and that's the bottom of our basement door. This is a look down inside the wall. The blocks are clipped together with their Lego, and then you can see the horizontal rebar alternating uh, every 16 inches. And then we have these HV clips uh, horizontally and vertically to hold the blocks together and then the vertical rebar also every 16 inches and these rebar are connected to the ones we put in our footings that we're sticking out. This wooden uh, framed wall is our counter fort or buttress wall. Uh, this wall at the back here is going to have quite a bit of backfill pressure against it so this wall is built as a support against the pressure of the dirt. Um, it's going to be hidden inside the interior 
uh, interior wall of our laundry room. So we didn't do ICF for it because it would end up being very thick. We just used uh, the standard concrete forms for that. So you can see it'll be eight inches wide. Whereas an ICF wall is 13 and 5 eighths inches wide. When you're building with concrete walls, you really have to think ahead because you can't add things or cut holes later. So this guy right here, that will be our septic outlet. And this guy is going to be a faucet on our upstairs deck. Thank mm -hmm. you. 